Looking for good Oculus Quest games that are free to play? In this video I'll tell you about the best 5 games that I have played and reviewed. If you want to play a game that's free and fun, this is a great way to do that. There are even premium titles available if you want more content or don't want the ads. This list of games will give you hours and hours of immersive gameplay. Pavlov Shack Pavlov Shack is one of the best VR shooters that I have played. It's free and it runs on the Oculus Quest 2. Online gaming appeals to a lot of people with different needs and different skill levels. For me, the combat shooting in this game was an enjoyable experience. Another reason that this game is so popular is that you can play collaboratively with others from all around the world in real time. You can also choose different multiplayer matches under different survival situations, such as fighting waves of marines or 10 rounds of nuclear blasts. Added to the realistic avatars, complex weapons and battlefields of full VR are additionally available in-game features including a 360-degree view, comfortably seated using the left controller for movement. The online mode lets you set up real-time matches with players from Asia, Europe or the US. The game features various characters from diverse backgrounds and a large selection of military vehicles including tanks, jets, helicopters and more. Key features. These matches can happen from one region to another as well. The mode also supports real player voice audio so you can hear instructions and chats from your combat teammates. There are various different types of multiplayer modes. From the campaign to split screen, everything is available. The campaign mode includes 10 levels and a boss battle. You'll be playing as one of four protagonists. Cole, who is an agile soldier, Zeki, who uses firearms effectively, Harper, who specializes in melee combat, and Xander, who uses his powerful abilities to take down enemies in a variety of ways. You'll be playing as a protagonist for all four characters, but the game is about different stories rather than one story told across the four playable characters. You play with complex combat. You have to observe your opponent's moves before determining what your next move is going to be. You're able to dodge and block enemy attacks in order to. You will also be able to switch between the four characters in the campaign and with each character you can unlock additional levels. The enemies are not just generic soldiers, they are unique individuals who might be wearing armor. Battle Talent Battle Talent is a high fantasy VR game, even more so than Blade and Sorcery. Sure, Blade and Sorcery have magic too, but there it's nothing but humans to fight. Here in Battle Talent we've got goblins and skeletons, doesn't it feel awesome to fight against them? Its own description is an action game focused on combat fantasy and physics. There's a tower among the cloud options where you can buy upgrades. Here you can buy impressive upgrades like the ability to tear enemies in half or send them sky high with a single shot from your weapon and also you can choose different upgrades for your guns or abilities. You don't have to buy all of them here though, you can simply buy one at a time or wait until later levels to get more powerful ones that are on sale. The towers often provide mini game challenges for you like turning the tower in a certain direction or collecting items as they fall to the ground. Arenas and Mazes Arenas are basically what you would be dumped into with a couple of weapons and enemies will start pouring in to murder you before you murder them. If you're still standing and they are not, then you win. Mazes generally start you off with a weapon, possibly enchanted or maybe a spell. Then you advance through the hallways of the maze, fighting sporadic monsters and finding upgrades. Battle talent is a challenge. You need to block incoming attacks, make attacks where the enemy is not blocking and watch your back all at the same time. Battle talent, you get to choose your weapons, how those weapons are enchanted, what power-ups you take for your character, whether or not you take curses, what magic gems to use and so on and so forth. If you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video, also press the bell icon as well to never miss our future uploads. Cards and Tank Cards Cards and Tank Cards is a pretty traditional magic card battler game. You get character cards and magic cards with the goal of the game to history your opponent. The good news is that you can play with multiplayer or your own against the AI. The layout is simple as is the gameplay, but if you are not a lover of this genre of the game anyway, this won't win anyone over. But it's free and doesn't look too bad at all. Gym Masters The game brings players to Gym City where they'll enroll in gyms with the aim of working out and becoming a champion. The game features a lot of fun fitness based games. In one, you'll try to punch soda cans and avoid pies coming at you from the back seat of a car whereas others will have you sprinting on a treadmill using your arms or catching flies with an electric swatter. On top of the fitness-focused gameplay, players will also be able to customize their own gym to build the workout experience they want. 
In this game, you will also come into contact with a number of minigames as well. These games are of course the part of Gym Masters, where players get their own exercise. The storyline is pretty amazing as it says players will fill an unnamed character role and will have to attempt to battle with a baddie by the name of Condor Brusnauer. This character previously defeated your in-game father in a grand battle in the past and now you want to get back at him. To do this, you'll need to rebuild your own gym within Gym City. After you do, you'll regain the respect of those in the city and will eventually be able to take down or try to take down Bruce Nava once you're prepared to do so. The next time you're in the gym, talk to the receptionist. After you've filled out the form and turned it back in, she will tell you to speak with one of the three people, the coordinator or coordinators or a trainer. To defeat the bad character, these three main characters, Rock Johnson, Chris Fit Body Power and Your Toy Burrito, will be helping you to become stronger from time to time. No more rainbows, you are the beast. Since time immemorial, you have served as Warden of the Underworld, passing the eternities in a peaceful slumber. On a particular day, you woke up and found that Bezo and their merry band of minions are on a quest to take over your sanctuary of screams and turn it into a bountiful paradise where cries of pain and torment are replaced by kisses and rainbows. Here you would have four different maps and each map has different secrets for you to unfold. There is also a multiplayer mode available and with it, you can play with your friends and prove yourself to be the best guardian of your underworld territory. The game contains more than 10 different levels and each level has its own quests but the gameplay is simple and straightforward so that you can focus on the goal without getting lost among other things. The game was designed specifically for the younger audience and is suitable for kids aged 3 to 10 years. The graphics of the game are digital illustrations of a cute forest with furious animals. The user interface is also intuitive so that even children can use it easily. As you play the game, your character will collect resources to stand out from the crowd. And with that said, we've reached the end of today's video. What are your thoughts on this one? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video so that it encourages us to bring more amazing and interesting videos to you. That said, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.